Hello and welcome back to the training. It's Frank Calabria Jr. You guys are here on Planet Millionaire under uh, PLS Fast Funnels, okay? And what I'm going to do in this particular training video is I'm going to teach you how to make a marketing system, a sales funnel, whatever you want to call it, a system of automation for any product or any service or whatever it is that you want to sell, guys, okay? Whatever the product is, whatever the service is, this is how it's done, okay? And this is going to be uh, a pretty exciting class. I haven't taught this in quite some time. I do this all the time for myself and my teammates. I build a lot of funnels, but I haven't taught this in a while. I'm pretty excited, man, because I want to I want to pass this knowledge on to you. This is one of those subjects that nobody taught me. I had to figure this out myself. It took quite some time. It took it took years um, to figure this out. And it took me a long time to get good at this, okay? I'm talking about 8,000 hours of my life to figure this out and get good at it. So it's not something that you're going to learn instantaneously, but just to figure in this part out how it all works, you're going to shave years off the learning curve, okay? Now, there's three components to a marketing system. I don't care what it is. I don't care what you're selling. There's three components to a marketing system, okay? That's all I want to talk about in this video We'll get into some advanced training in later videos, okay? And the first component is the landing page, okay? Now, landing page. Real briefly, what a landing page is designed to do is to collect information. Collect an email address. And what we want to do, and this is a science. I'm not going to get into, you know, the science of landing pages in this training. But you just want to say enough to get someone to put their email in. And how do you do that? Well, you got to think about the person um, looking at the landing page and think about what's in it for them. What are you going to teach them? What are you going to show them? What are you going to give them? What problem are you going to solve? Okay. That's pretty much what you got to think about when you design a landing page. Okay. So that's the first component of a marketing system. The second component is what we call the sales page, okay? Now, there can be more than one sales page. There could be sale, sales pages. It could have a couple pages, okay? And the sales page, what you're doing is you're showing the product. You're showing the service. You're showing testimonials. You're showing proof. You're showing how, you know, whatever it is, how it works, Okay. And that's the sales page, okay? It's kind of like the commercial or the presentation or whatever you guys want to call it. It all depends really on the product, but that's the next component. Once you once you collect the email address, okay, what we want to do is give them whatever it is that we're promoting, that we're selling, that we're giving away, whatever it may be, okay? And you don't always have to exchange dollars. You don't have to uh, uh, charge someone money for whatever it is on the sales page it could be a free training it could be anything but the only thing you're charging is the email address okay so that's the second component the third component is the email campaign now the email campaign this is another thing that i had to figure out it took years um the email campaign the only thing these emails are designed to do is to reinforce what they've already seen and you give them another chance to take a look at the product or service again OK, that's what the email campaign is really designed to do. OK, and I don't want to get too deep in that either, because that's a subject in itself. And I could make, you know, several videos just on email marketing and email broadcasts. But these email campaign, these are pre-written emails, pre-written, and you have them go out in sequence over the period of time. You could have them follow up with people for a couple of weeks, you know, 21 days and maybe give them an email every two to three days and get let them to basically you set take these emails and you send them right back to where to the sales page let them take a look at this thing again okay it's kind of like when people see a television commercial or any advertisement billboard i don't care what it is radio commercial anything how many times do they have to see it how many times do they have to hear it before they make a purchase and that's really what you're doing with these emails is you're reinforcing what they've already seen and giving them a chance to look at this again so these emails, there'll be a link inside the email, and we'll send them right back here to the sales page so they can see this video again, okay? So there it is, guys. That's the three components to a marketing system. I'm going to show you how to do this right now. We're going to do it together, so grab your notebooks, 
and we'll put together something and you can promote whatever it is that you want to promote. And we're going to build a decent, uh, it's going to be a basic marketing system together, but it's going to be a thousand times better than what I started with. I promise you my, my, I wish I had pictures or I had examples of my original funnels. They were so terrible. They were so, uh, or they looked so bad that just, Oh man, it was just, they were embarrassing, but they worked. That was the amazing thing about it was they actually worked, even though they were so terrible, they still worked. So you ain't got to have the prettiest things in the world, but as long as it works and it gives them the information, the content, you'd be surprised, um, how well some of these things will work. Okay. Now my stuff's a lot more finished and polished and shiny and nice, but my stuff is still not super polished and I don't really want it to be because I think if you over polish your stuff, then it gets looked at from a different set of lenses. So, uh, and that's once again, I don't want to get into that subject either, but I'm going to show you guys how to build a basic marketing funnel. Okay. All right. Now here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go over to my power lead system. I'm going to go over to my power lead system, the training account. Okay. We're going to do this together. Like I said, grab your notebooks and what I like to do is I like to build a funnel kind of like backwards where I build the sales page first, then the landing page. And then, you know, we can take the, we can do the email last or we can do the email second. It really doesn't matter, but I think we're going to do the sales page first. The sales page is where the video is. Okay. Where the video is and the button, the call to action button, like, what do we want people to do? What do we want them to, do we want them to sign up for something? Do we want them to enroll in something? You know, what do you want them to do next? You know what I'm saying? But let me just show you. Okay. So let's click on websites. Let's go to web pages. And oh, I'm sorry. Let's go to copy web pages. I'm sorry. Copy web pages. Let's go there. Copy web pages. Now they've got a, a whole bunch of stuff down here that you can choose from. And we want something that we can put a video in. Okay. And there's a bunch of stuff in here, but I think we're just going to grab something real easy because this is the first time you've ever done this. And I think, you know, what we're going to do, we're going to go up here. I'm going to show you a place. I'm actually going to give you something, another resource. This is hard to see. Now, at the top of this page, and you can barely see it, see where it says click here for more choices? It's tough to see this. I want you to click on that. Okay. And you're going to go to a website. This is called my sharing, or I'm sorry, myshareCodes.com. I want you to bookmark this. I want you to save this. I'm going to take mine. I'm going to drag it down to my PLS folder. I'm going to drop it in there. Share codes. Okay. Now, what they do is Power Lead System gives you a whole another website with a whole bunch more of capture pages, and they give you a whole bunch of examples down here. Check this out. This is a resource right here. They don't even charge for this. I have complained to Power Lead System, Neil Gass and Michael Price, and I have told them they do not they do not charge enough money for this system, and this system should be a minimum of ninety seven dollars per month. You know, my AWeber bill is $400, $500, $600, $700 $700 per month. My AWeber bill, yet my Power Lead System bill is 54 bucks a month. It's insane, guys, the value. it's They need to go up on the price. And we would all make more money if they went up on the price, but I've been complaining, and nothing seems to be doing, done about it, and they just keep giving away more and more stuff. So, I mean, I'm not complaining about the value. <laughs> I'm complaining the price is too low for this. Okay, now... What we want to do is let's just pick out something real simple. Like, see this one right here? It's just a simple video. And you can see there's examples. Like, click here for example one, clip here for example two. And then they got special instructions. And the special instructions is a video, okay? This is the it basically shows you how this whole thing works. Now, you can come back over here in a later date and, and pick through this. And there's a lot of cool training. And you can really trick these uh, these pages out. You can really do some cool stuff with these. Okay. But we're going to keep it very simple. This is the first time you've ever done this. You see this share code right here. I want you to copy this. I want you to copy it. Okay. And you can click here for the example. We'll just pop that up. Okay. You see how simple this is. It's a button and it's a, it's a video. And then there was like a, an example too, right? Click here for example two. It was a button and a video with a, a picture in the background. Okay? Join me for the 2014 Cal Ripken and World Series, where the world comes to play. Okay, the but that's going to work for our purpose. Only okay, at the Ripken Experience, just, powered by Under Armour, in grab Aberdeen, Maryland, code. August 8th through the 16th. That share code. Learn more. Let's go ahead and shut that down. And we're going to go back over to our PLS, 
and you're going to hover over websites and you're going to go down to my sharing codes and what you're going to do is scroll down to the bottom of the page and there's a box white box you're going to click copy paste control victor put that share code in there hit submit all right now you're going to get code has been added now i'm going to go back to websites copy my web pages now we're going to be able to grab that thing because it's already loaded up inside our power lead system it's already in here what was that called it was called sales page three here it is right here you see it sales page three by share codes now if you want to preview it you can actually just click on the little custom page box and you can preview it but we already know what it looks like and it's just a video with you're a, about to discover with a button okay and that's perfect perfect for our needs absolutely perfect for a sales page so we're going to go ahead and put the put the dot in the box and we're going to scroll down and click save or copy or whatever it says let's see what it says next make a copy okay all right now we're going to name it okay and we're going to name this you're going to you're going to name it whatever your offer is so you can easily find it i'm just going to call it best uh funnel ever is just for training purposes sales page sp1 okay and then title it you can title it whatever you want and the title tag is what's going to show up up here at the top of the screen like this one says see what it says awesome offer okay you can you know that's just a title tag so you can title this whatever you want you can call it whatever you want i'm just going to put um i just call it best offer just for training purposes you probably want to put something different but just for training purposes that's fine okay box number two we can go ahead and skip box number two box number three this is not an opt-in page we can skip box number three and box number four we can go ahead and skip that too don't worry about any of that stuff we're not concerned with any of that we're going to hit save changes all right now Here's where you can pick your background. Okay, you can, the current background, it's showing you the current background. And if you like that, you can keep that. Or you can pick a white background. There's a white, just totally white. And then there's a bunch of pictures that got preloaded in here. And you're not limited. You can actually upload a photo, a background that you already have. And you can also use that. Okay. But to keep it very simple, for training purposes only, we're just going to use something that's already in here. We're going to grab that background. Okay. And you, all you do is click on it, and it's automatically going to load for you, okay? Now, we want to put a video in here. We want to put our video in here, okay? One of our videos in here, okay? Your sales page, your product, your service, whatever it may be. Now, I got a video already opened up over here for training purposes only. And this is a YouTube video. And what we're looking for is 11 characters, okay? Now, if you look up here in the top of the, there's a couple places you can get this. Top of the address bar over here at YouTube, it's these last 11 characters of the video that you want to use inside your sales page. And that's one place you can get it. You can also click on share, and here it is. At the end of this URL, the short URL, there's the 11 characters at the, after the forward slash. You can click on embed. And those 11 characters are also right here after the, of course, I highlighted the whole thing, but it's after the embed forward slash, there's 11 characters, okay? So there's a couple places you can, you can find those 11 characters, okay? I'm just going to grab these 11 characters up here in the address bar. I'm going to copy those. I'm going to go back over to our, our um, sales page. I'm going to double click on this iframe thing. Just see where it says iframe? I'm just going to double click on it. Put my mouse over it. I'm going to click on it maybe just once. I don't know. I think it just, I think it was just once. I had to click on it once. Okay. Now they got this big long URL thing in there. Okay. And it's all highlighted blue. I'm going to click off of it and make it wide again. Now you see the 11 characters. I'm going to click and drag. You see that right there? I got to replace that video and put the video that I want in here. So I'm going to hit the backspace or you can hit control Victor or however you want to do it. Control Victor or copy paste in there. Now I got my 11 characters in there. I got my video in there and I can click OK. OK, now I got my video in there. Now, um, let's also, let's click on that again. Let's double click on that again. 
Now, another thing, another thing, let's click on advanced, general. Okay, no, we're good, we're good. Just click okay, let's just, let's just go on. Okay, now, we got a button right here, right? Now, what if you don't like this button? You say, I don't want a continue button, I want a different button, okay? You want to replace that button, right? All you got to do is click on that thing and highlight it. See how it's highlighted? It's got the, 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 you know, the box going around it. Click on it, highlight it. Scroll up until you see this little picture tab up here. The little picture tab says image when you hover over it with your mouse. Click on that. No, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. And then what you do, see where it says browser? Browser. Let's go ahead and click on browser or browser server. I'm sorry. Browse server. I haven't taught this class in a while, guys. I'm a little rusty. I do this all the time. I just haven't taught this in years. Okay. Now you see PLS has a whole bunch of buttons back here. Okay. And if they, if, and if you can't find a button you like, you can actually upload a button. You can go to, you can actually go to your, like my library and I can upload a button that I have on my desktop. Okay. A button that I made or maybe a button that I found on uh, images or something like that. Okay. So you can actually upload a button if you can't find a button that you like in the library, the custom library, or whatever the heck that is that they're calling it. Okay, but let's just see what they got here. Okay, I got get started now. I got get instant access. I got let me in. I got all these different buttons to choose from. Okay, I got a whole bunch of just different buttons I can choose from that I can put in there. Okay, there's a whole bunch of buttons in here. So I'm gonna grab something that's in here already. Let me see. Let me just click on this one get instant access. Let's just say I like that one. I'm going to double click on it or something. Okay, double click on it. Okay. Now, a couple of things once you grab that button. Okay, basically you're, you're previewing the button that you grabbed. Okay, you're previewing it. Now, the next thing you want to do is your link. Okay. Where do you want, when people click on that button, where do you want them to go? What do you want them to see? Do you want them to sign up for something? Do you want them to buy something? Do you want them to go to your blog? Do you want them to go to your generic website? Think about where you want them to go. I'm going to put a link in here, and I just got something random for training purposes only. I got a join page. Don't worry about the offer here. I'm just using this as an example. But here is a join page, okay? And you might have something similar like this. You might have a product or service or whatever it might be. This is just for training purposes only, guys. Okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put that link in there. Control Victor. Okay? When I click on that button, this is where I want them to go. Now, target. See this thing button that's just drop down says target? If you want that button to open up in the same window, it'll open up in the same window. Okay? If you want it to open up in a new window, in a new tab off to the right, It'll open up in a new window. So you actually can choose when people click on that button how it opens, okay? So you choose how you want it to open. Click OK. All right, there it is. Now, if the button, if you want to make it bigger, you can highlight it and you can just grab the corner, pull it out, and let it go. If you want to make that button bigger, if you want to make it smaller, you can grab the corner and pull it in and make it smaller, okay? So you can customize this. I'm going to put my cursor, where is it, on the bottom. I'm going to hit enter, two, three, four, five, six. I just want to put a little bit of space below the button, okay? So that's all I did. And, you know, if I like the button size like that, I'm like, oh, that's a good size button. I ain't got to make it too big, but, you know, they can definitely see it. I got my video in there, okay? I got my background I picked up in there. We're just about done, guys. This is pretty simple. Save changes. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to view my page. I'm going to view the sales page. That I just created and there it is guys okay so now I got my video and my button let's test our button make sure your button works and listen if you mess up just go back in and fix it if you screw up the page you didn't break the internet delete the damn thing and just start all over again okay it's no big deal guys you're not gonna break the internet okay but there it is it works it does exactly what we want it to do Okay, we got our video in here, we got our button in here, and it goes where we want it to go, okay? All right, now, let's build a landing page, a place where that, that'll collect up the email address, okay? We'll make a simple landing page. So I'm going to hover over websites, I'm going to go to 
copy web pages. Copy web pages. All right. Now you can go back up here again, click, you know, click here for more choices and go find something over on share codes. You could do that, guys. There's a whole bunch in here. Okay. But and, and we, we could use some of these, but let me see what they got in the back of Power Lead System. We're just gonna pick something real simple and and, and easy to work with, okay? Don't blow your mind out and pick something real complicated to modify when you're first starting off, okay? Because you haven't had the training yet, okay? So just pick something that's very simple to work with. Very simple to work with. Let's see what they got back here. I'm probably skipping over stuff. Let me scroll up. I'm going a little fast here. All right. Here's a here's an easy one to mess with. Right here, any capture lead page, any company lead page number three, copy pay this page. We want email only, okay? We're going to copy this page. I think you can go all the way up to the top or down to the bottom. Doesn't really matter. Oh, let's go down to the bottom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Make a copy. Okay, here's where you're going to name it, right? Here's where we're going to name this. What do we call this thing? Best funnel ever. And this is a landing page, so we're going to label it landing page one. And then we're going to call this, what, what do we call this? Best offer? This is the title tag. Now, we will mess with some of this stuff right here. Now, if you, wanna, if you already have a domain name that you want to use, like if you already bought a domain name that you want to use, well, you can pick a domain name. You can see here's your drop down. Here's all the names that you have that you purchased. Okay. And I'm just going to randomly for training purposes only I'll pick this one because this is in my training account. So I'm going to pick that meaning yeah, I can connect this right now. Now you can come back and do this later. If you haven't bought a name yet, don't worry about it. Just skip this step. Okay. Now leave this first box checked. We don't have an autoresponder yet. Okay, but we will. We are going to have an autoresponder. We will connect this together. We'll have to come back to this. We haven't created that that yet. And then we can connect this to AWeb and get response. We can do that, but we're going to skip that for now. And then here's a cool thing. We can connect this to the sales page we just created. Or you can connect this to a website outside of PLS. You can make this go somewhere else. Yeah, guys, you can create a landing page and make it go somewhere else off of PLS, the sales page, you know what I'm saying? But we just built the page. We just built the page. So we're going to find it, right? We're going to find it. What we just call that thing? Best something. Best funnel ever sales page one. There it is. So we're going to connect these two things together right now. We got the landing page. We're connecting it to the sales page. Save changes. Um, let's, did that work? Okay, there it goes. All right. Now the background, what I'm going to do, there's the background right now. You can keep that. If you like it, you can go with something else. You can do whatever you want to do. But for training purposes, I just going to, I'm going to match the two things together. I'm going to pick the same background that I picked before. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to drag this out so you can see it a little bit better. I'm just going to grab the corner. You see what I'm doing? I'm grabbing this corner right here with my mouse and I'm just clicking, I'm dragging, I'm holding it down. I'm just making it a little wider so I can see a little more easily. All right. And now I can modify this. I can modify this up here at the top. Okay. Actually, I already did it, man. I, I, before I turned the camera on, I grant, I've created some stuff right here. I created a little, I did a little practice page. I'm just going to copy that for right now just to show you how this is done. But what you want to do is just, you just type up in here, whatever it is that you want to type up. Okay. Whatever it may be guys. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. Control Victor. Okay. And if you want to change this down here, or you can leave this alone, that's totally up to you. But I think I changed it in my example. Well, maybe I shouldn't went with all caps. The info will be sent to the email you enter above. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to change this. I'm going to change this. I'm going to put down notice. Um, the email you enter above. I'll 
if I'm not spelling wrong, it's hard to type like this kind of microphone in front of me. <laughs> the email you enter above uh, will, the email you enter, the, oh, I'm sorry, the email you enter above. How about the information? The information you enter above will be sent to your best email or your best, let's say your best email. I think that's pretty good. Let's delete all the rest of this mess. So you can put whatever you want to put down here or you can put nothing down here or you can leave it, leave it alone, okay? That's totally up to you. Notice the information you enter above will be sent to your best email. Okay. All right. Now, and then I changed the ad copy. Okay. And here's the ad copy. Let's just look at this real quick. Oh, another thing. I didn't point this out. Here's all your tools up here. Okay. You can change, you can change the font size. You can change the font itself. Okay. You can change the colors. Okay, you got this is self explanatory, bold, you can italicize, you can underline, you can align your text to the left to the center. To, I mean, you guys get this, right? I don't need to go through all this control panel, you'll figure this out. This is pretty simple and self explanatory. Okay. All right. So there's all your controls up there. But I just left it the way it was. I put down Oh my gosh, amazing secret that helped me make my first $1,000 online. Get the free step-by-step -step video now, okay? And when, when people look at this, you got to be thinking, what's in it for them, okay? They don't really care how much money I'm making. They don't care how much money you're making. They don't care about that stuff, guys. They don't care. The only thing they want to know from you, there's two things they want to know. I talk about this in a lot of other trainings. There's two things they want to know from you. Number one, does it work? Does the product or service work? Does it work, okay? Number two, can I do it too? Those are the only two things you got to convince people of. Does it work? Can I do it too? Okay. So they don't really care that I made a thousand dollars, but that's a bullet point. It's strong. It's psychological. And you're, and don't ever say anything like this unless it's hundred percent true. Okay. Don't make cl income claims or any craziness. This is just for training purposes only guys. Don't say anything up here. That's not true. Okay. You can push the envelope, but don't, you don't need to hype it up, but you know, don't say nothing that's not true, but you want to grab people's attention. So let's look at this. Oh my gosh, amazing secret that helped me make my first thousand dollars online. I mean, I wanted to learn how to make my first thousand dollars online. You got my attention. I promise you when I was broke, I promise you I would have paid attention to this. Then it says, get the free. So I'm not, I don't have to spend nothing. Step-by-step -step video now. I'm like, okay, what do I got to lose? You're going to show me how you made your first thousand dollars online and you're going to give me a step-by-step -step video now? Okay, I'll look at it. I'll watch it. Of course I will, okay? I'm looking for a solution, and this landing page sounds to me like it's providing a solution to a problem that I have, okay? So I don't want to get too, too deep in the, the, the psychology of landing pages, but this is pretty good, and it's simple, and you don't have to say a whole lot, okay? You, matter of fact, you want to say less, actually. You don't want to over-explain whatever it is, Okay. All right, that's pretty good, guys. That's pretty good right there. And let's hit save changes and go to the next step. And then you can go ahead and view the web page. And there it is, guys. And see how I connected it to a domain name for this training? FrankieCoachMe.com. Okay, they put, we're going to test this in a moment. You put your email in there. And what they're going to see next is the video that we want them to see. Okay, whatever, the, your, your video, whatever it is that you want to put in here. And then get instant access, they're going to go to wherever it is that you want, where you want them to go to when they click the button, okay? In this particular thing, example, it's like a sign-up page, okay, for an offer, okay? Now, the only component we haven't done is the email campaign. We're almost done, guys, okay? So we got two steps done of the three. All right, let's go back over to email. Let's hover over email. We're going to add a campaign, now, you got to title this campaign. What do we call this thing? Best offer ever. I don't remember what we called it. Best offer ever. You're going to name it, whatever you name it, your offer. 
You should name it whatever it is the product is, okay? Because that way you won't get confused. You can easily identify it, and you can match everything together, okay? So I would highly recommend using the name of your product or your service, okay? But just for training purposes only, I'm going to create this campaign. I like to create my own campaign, okay? And I've got zero messages. I've got zero messages in here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new email to this campaign, and I have to put in a subject line, okay? And I pre-wrote something real simple before I flipped on the camera. This is nothing fancy. This is very, very basic, okay? <clears throat> For training purposes only. And you probably want to write about seven or eight emails to start off with, okay, guys? You don't need to go crazy. I would recommend seven or eight, 10, 12. That's more than enough, Okay. If they're going to buy your product or service, they're going to buy your product or service, okay? All this does is reinforce what they've already seen. So we're going to add this email. We put the subject line in there, and it's going to go ahead and load, okay? And there it is right there. It's going to be sent on day zero. So after they put their email in, uh, their address in to see the product or service, this is going to get sent out automatically, okay? So we got to add some content. We're going to hit view and edit. Okay, and I'm going to drag this out a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay, and I'm going to delete this mess that's in here. It says add my text. I'm going to click down once, and I already rewrote something in advance. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Control, oops, what did I just do? Oh, man. What did I just do, man? I hope I can undo that. I hope I don't have to. I hope I didn't delete that whole email. Okay, I got it. Here it is. Let's try and grab that again. Control copy. I got this microphone in front of me, guys. It's hard to operate my computer like this. All right. <clears throat> Let's control Victor. Let's try that again. Okay, I pasted that in there. Now, at the bottom of your email, here's what I want you to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Put a whole bunch of space at the bottom because that... That little bar, that power lead system, it goes on the bottom of the emails. It's a, it looks terrible. It's like an opt-out form or something. It just looks terrible. So put a whole bunch of space on the bottom, okay? Now, we, we need to add a couple of links in here, a couple hyperlinks, okay? The first one, I'm just going to grab this one on the bottom because it's easy to see, is I tell them people, listen, let's connect with me on social media. So I'm going to do control copy, and I'm going to put a link. I'm going to make that a hyperlink hyperlink and let me look at this real quick guys let me look there's a couple ways to do this um see i can click right here too see this link right here this is one way i can do it but i can also put a trackable link in there it doesn't really matter how you do it guys let's see i'll control victor i'll put that in there and the message is going to be the same thing. Control Victor. I'm going to add it. Okay. And see what it did? It put, it put a whole bunch of code around there. But it made that a hyperlink, okay? It, it made, what it did is it made it clickable, okay? Now, let's look at this. Hello, entrepreneur. You asked for this. The incredible and simple plan that helped me eliminate debt I no longer stress about past due bills. This could be a solution for you too. Click here. You just want to say enough to get people to click on this, right? Now, on this click here, I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to copy it. Control copy. Okay. I'm going to go up to this one right here. Put a trackable link, this yellow box, to a web page in our system. I'm going to get that out of there. Control Victor. And then I'm going to find that page that we created. There it is. Best funnel ever sales page one. And I'm going to click anywhere. Ooh, it didn't work. It didn't work. Oh, you know what I didn't? I know what I did wrong. I didn't click the add button. Click the add button. See right here, the add button. There it goes. You see that code? Did it put a bunch of code around there? It made that clickable. Okay. 
And listen, I know this is a little funky, this, this, this editor. It's a little weird to work with, okay? But you'll get the hang of this. It won't take you too long. And there it is. My first email's done. What I can do is hit control all if I want to change the font or the font size. I'm going to recommend, I'm going to go with 14, font size 14, so they can read it easily. That's pretty good, okay? And then I'm going to save it. And we have to save it up here, save changes. Okay? And then what you can do, you can send it to yourself. Okay? And you got to put your email in there. It's going to go to the email that you have entered in here. And then make sure you look in your spam box or something because if, if, if it's not whitelisted, it could go to your spam box. Make sure the email works and all that kind of cool stuff, okay? And, but now I've got an email. I've got an email um, campaign, and I need to write a couple more emails, okay? So like I said, write six or seven emails, connect it right back to the um, business presentation page or the sales page one, okay? I call it sales page one. You'll hear me use the term BP a lot, business presentation or product presentation or something like that, but... Just connect it right back to the page with the video, okay, right here. That's where we want to send them. Let us see it again, okay? Pretty simple, guys. All right, let's connect everything together. Let's click on my web pages. Okay, you see it right here? Best funnel ever, sales page one. Best funnel ever, landing page one. I'm going to hit edit. I'm going to edit the landing page, and then we're going to test it out. We're almost done, guys. Okay, this is done, this is done. Box two, I've connected it to a domain name, okay? Box three, here's where I'm gonna connect the autoresponder. I'm gonna find the campaign we just created, best offer ever, one message. We should have more than one, but for training purposes, we got a message in there. We're gonna connect everything together. If you wanna connect up your Aweber or your get response, I've got training on this. You guys already got training on this, on this particular uh, page here at Planet Millionaire, okay? And then this is already connected to the sales page that we created. You can actually hit view page. It'll pop up and it'll show you. You can see where it's connected, right? Oh, yeah, okay. This is where I want it to connect it to. Good to go. Save changes. The background, I want to keep it. I'm just going to click keep. This is all done. I don't want to change anything else. This is good to go. Hit save changes. View your page. We're done, guys. We're done. You know, the only thing left and this is very important, is you need to test. You always test, guys. Always test. 100% of the time, you test, okay? You always test. You put your email in here. And put your real email in here. Get instant access. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here, the verification code, the capture code, whatever you guys want to call it. I'm going to hit submit. And presto, it works. We didn't break the internet, guys. We didn't break the internet. It still works. And we're going to click on our button. And presto, it's going to do exactly what we want it to do. So there it is, guys. There it is. Basic Sales Funnels 101, man. I could only wish somebody taught me how to do this. There it is, guys. There's the training, okay? So build yourselves a simple little funnel, okay? Have fun with this. Don't get aggravated if you screw it up. So what? Just delete the page, okay? If you go back to web pages, you see this red dot, these red X, you can delete it. You can literally delete it. If you screw it up, if you break the internet, just delete it and start over again. Who cares, okay? It's practice, guys. Okay, so don't don't get all aggravated or whatever, and you're not going to mess it up. And there's a ton more training. There's a ton more training about this over here in the training area, okay? There's more resources. We talked about this in a previous video, okay? There's a lot more resources. I just gave you a very basic crash course on how you can actually build your very first uh, sales marketing funnel, okay? You can build it for any product, any service, You've already got the knowledge right now. You can build something basic. I'm going to tell you something right now. This is 100 times better. Well, it's 1,000 times better than what I started with. My stuff was so funky looking. It was so hideous. It was, oh, my God, it was so terrible. I got to find, find that stuff somewhere, see if I still have it. I know I don't, but I'd love to find it somewhere. 
and just show it to you guys. It, 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 you would cringe, but it worked. That's the crazy thing about it is this stuff actually worked. Okay. So there it is, guys. There's the training. There's fast funnels right there for you guys in Power Lead System. Hope you guys enjoyed this training and uh, see you guys in the next training. Frank Calabro Jr. signing off. Thank you.